Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. When we left off, we had started looking at some of the bonus endings to the game, beginning with the worst ending, the ending in which Lavos kicks your butt and takes over the world. Well now, we're going to go to slightly sunnier climbs and begin a new game plus, which you might have noticed I've had this up here the whole playthrough because I've beaten the game before. But if you don't, if you go through the Black Omen and defeat Lavos after having gone through and beaten Zeal, you can get a new game plus, which will allow you to select whatever data you have, and you can basically begin the game anew from there. So I'll go ahead and get this started, and we can see what we have for ourselves in a new game plus. Now you notice, of course the ending doesn't, or the ending, listen to me, the beginning doesn't change, the fireworks, the millennial fair, the whole nine yards, everything is as it was right at the beginning of the game whenever we kicked all of this off. And of course we end up centering in on Chrono's house here in Guardia. And our mom gets to wake us up again. I'm not going to really voice much in the way of the dialogue here because we're not really here for the dialogue now we're here for the ending so let me go ahead and get us going here so that we can be on our way all right i guess i'll behave myself if you really need me to i mean i've been i can be a little troublesome but yeah whatever all righty good morning chrono let's get ourselves started now, first thing you'll notice in a New Game Plus is you keep your levels, along with your stats on the right screen, but you don't keep your equipment on. Fortunately, you do keep it in your inventory, so you can go ahead and equip everything accordingly to get yourself souped back up the way you want to. Now, that's pretty much it for me. You also keep all your items that you've saved up over the playthrough. Still got some of my speed tabs left, although I don't really need them. You don't keep your money, unfortunately, but you can earn that back easily enough. It's not that big of a deal. So let's go ahead and charge through. We'll have to uh, go ahead and introduce ourselves to Lucia. Hello, Lucia. All right. Yes, I know. I know. I want to see the invention. So let's go to Guardia Millennial Fair and, well, buzz by all the sites because we've already seen all that before. And let's go ahead and bump into ourselves a princess. Whee! Alrighty. Yes, hello. Spank your bum, Marley. Okay, check on her. Grab pendant. Give to her. Yes, let's give that back to you. Yes, you may. Yes, you can walk around with us. Alrighty. Okay, so... Hello, Marley. Alrighty, let us sally forth. And we'll just go ahead and skip to the getting ourselves into the telepod stuff. Because this is in essence where we're going to see the first of the official New Game Plus endings that we can run across. Now, you can do this here in 1000 AD, right at the beginning of the game. You can also get this ending if you manage to defeat Lavos during the story playthrough in the Ocean Palace. Now, you're almost certainly not going to be able to do that in your first playthrough because you're just not powerful enough and they soup Lavos up to basically make sure that you're dead. Now, if you do manage to beat him there, then you'll get this ending. But the easiest way to get it probably is to go through this way. Go ahead and introduce Tabin and Lucia and the Super Dimension Warp. <laughs> now, you you see, or at least you may have seen, this little glistening bit up here on the right telepod. This is the access point to the, to the battle with Lavos all the way back at the beginning of the game. Now, you can step through this now, but I like a little bit of extra challenge with my playthrough. So I'm gonna talk to Lucia and go ahead. Yes, 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 okay. Go ahead and get Marley out of my party. Yes, I know. Okay, thank you. Now, you notice Chrono is by himself. All right. Now let's go ahead and do this. And it's a weird little green 
teleportation. And it's going to take us all the way to Lavos without really much of a prelude either. So I'm gonna, going to go ahead and beat him up. Now you notice that this is not any of the preludes. This is straight out Lavos. This is, you know, you don't have to worry about going through any of the extra battles to get to him here. You just take out Lavos himself and then we'll go in and mess with everything inside of his innards. Now the strategy pretty much is gonna be the same as before, just as far as beating him up's concerned. You just gotta be sure that your levels are high enough and that you've got enough items to try to take care of the guy. I don't see this being terribly difficult because this battle wasn't hard when we played through it as a full party, and I don't see it being terribly difficult when we play through as a slightly more powerful Chrono now. Especially when he keeps countering like that. Hee hee hee. Alright, I'll go ahead and just keep on, basically just keep on keeping on. I may need to heal in a minute, but you notice with the haste helmet on. Okay, there he is. He's dead, or at least his head is dead. Alright, let me vault down into, oh, you're not that tired. Come on, man. Vault down to Lavos's innards here. And you notice we don't have a save point or a gate because obviously we're not that far along in the game. Now what I'm going to do is, since you've already seen these last couple of battles before, I'm going to go ahead and probably move through them with, or just kind of skip through them with Chrono, because the ending that we're going to get here can be relatively long, so I'm, I want to have the time to really pay attention to it, and if I host the battles here, this could get really, really long. So I'm going to go ahead and move through. And I'm going to beat up Lavos and then beat up Lavos again, and I will see you guys in just a bit. All right, let's see. This should do it, I think. And yes, I have beaten Chrono Trigger with just Chrono. Whee! I do have to say, that was a really tough fight, or a couple of fights, really. Uh, one of the things that I will mention if you are trying to beat Chrono solo, or trying to beat Lavos with Chrono, be very, very careful about the, about the hidden attack, the, the, uh, uh, the, the hidden bit, or shining bit, I think it is. Oh, man, that thing hurts badly, and if you don't have anybody else to heal you, you will be leaning on those elixirs like crazy. So, let's see what we've earned in our solo fight against Lavos. We wake up at the end of time, okay. And the new wakes up. And there's Gaspar. So I guess we can, let's see, let's move around here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And, uh, I don't know, hey, hey, Gaspar, where are we? Good job. You finished the hardest version of the game. This is the development room for the Chrono Trigger game. Take a walk around and hear what the team has to say. Heh, <laughs> Keizo Kobuk Kokubo. Well, I hope everyone can say it was a learning experience. When you complete your rounds, come back to see me. Okay. Yeah, basically what you have is all of the developers of the game show up here in the developer's room. And you can talk to all of them and see what they have to say. Akiyoshi Masura. Kokubo and I have been polishing up on our anti-stress massage technique. <laughs> Taizo Mamo. How about those Dodgers? I believe there may be a Dodgers uh, Japanese baseball team. I'll have to look into that. Anyway, move on and, well, apparently we can run over here. Oh, hey, what's up, kitty cat? Yoshinori Kitase. Did you get through all ten different endings? Actually, there's, uh, I think there's 12. It depends on when you challenge Lavos, and that's what we're going to be going through as we go through these endings. And, wow, wait, wow, even the barrel has something to say. Kazuka, better find the switch soon or it'll all go up in flames. Well, that's no good. Ah, I don't think we can go any other places around here. Nah, let's go back down this way. 
All right, talk to you. Hiroki Chiba. So which is it, the Raiders or the Cowboys? Ah, uh, well, this season it's definitely the Cowboys because the Raiders stink. Anyway, I don't think we can get in here yet. Nah, we can't get in there yet, but we can talk to the jumping. Woo, no, not yet, not yet, not yet. Go back. I want to talk to the jumping Poyozo. There we go. Matsuzo Itakura. Did you figure out the Poyozo dance attack? Yep, we got it. See you again in the next game. All right. And Magus, or semi-Magus. Shinichiro Okani Okaniwa, sorry. Gee, you know they kept us locked up for a really long time. My hair's this long as a result. Hehehe, <laughs> nice. Okay, I have to figure out, let's see. How can I get around to the Magus statue over there? There we go. All right, talk to you. Kato, every night we'll have a day. Even forever has to come to an end, I think. Okay. All right, well, let's dip over into these time gates here. Take us to different areas where we have the different developers. Kaname. Like, does this mean we're finally free to go home? Yeah, I suppose. Talk to Taman here. Keita Eto. It'll cost you 10 million gold to fix a broken map. Oh, dear God, we can't get that amount of money. Uh, okay. Kazuhiro Okawa. Congratulations. Now, wasn't that fun? Absolutely. Uh, don't look for me. Hiroko Yamamoto. Eh, well, I think we found you anyway. Yoshinori Ogura. Well, I'm glad they gave me a bit part in this game. Heh. Oh, darn, we can't talk to the, the piano. Or the bed. Yasunori Mitsuda. Hey, there you go. Well, it's my turn to go on a journey. And see you later, Mitsuda. As I mentioned, one of the main music composers in the game. All right, we're in prehistoric land here. Yasuyuki Hone. Phew, what a relief it's over. Oh, gee, thanks a lot. And Shinichiro Hamasaka. Good job, guys. Thank you. Tata, uh, Yasuhiko Kamata. Isn't 32 megs great? The graphics become incredible. It was painful at times, but it sure was fun. All right, well, yeah, I mean, for, for this era, it was pretty good graphics, especially with the battles that you could have just on the map. You didn't have to transition or do a any sort of cutaway to the random battles. Fumi Nakashima. Someone kiss me. No, thank you. You're a bit of an ugly frog for that one. Hiroyuki Ito. <laughs> the Tyranno Lair? Yup, it was my bright idea to put the switch in the mouth. And now we know. And finally, Mami Kawai. Oops, did I forget to insert a few parts? I'm so sorry, it won't happen again. Okay, if you say so. Let's see what we have here. Ah, we have the Ocean Palace. Eiji Nakamura. Congrats on finishing the game. Now, get alive. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. Kiyoshi Yoshi. You finished the game already? What about all the work I put in it? Yeah, well, we... Uh, <laughs> I like the Chancellor face. Minoru Akao. Boy, isn't this fun. Yeah, sure was. Dalton. Sorry, it's a bad makeup day for Takashi Tokita. <laughs> nice. Hey out there in TV land, how are we doing? It's me, Manabu Daishima. If you like this game, check out the other Squaresoft titles. Wow, we got a pitch man here. Akihiko Matsui. Now was it that special? See you same time, new game. Alright, I think we've had enough of that. And we have Magus's castle. Koji Sugimoto. Bet you can't beat the score of 2110 in the bike race. Oh, we never really tried, actually. Whoops. Kazumi Kobayashi. I've lost 22 pounds because of this game. You better be enjoying it. Yeah, well, we are. We did. Very much so. Yukio Nakatani. Will you be my friend? 
Are you a girl? No. Al? Well, fine then. What happens if we say yes? Uh, okay, we get a kiss. All right. Tadahiro Usuda. Look closely and you'll appreciate the individuality of the monsters. Check out the shadow on this guy's sword. I don't see any shadows, but oh well. And then Flea, I, aka Hirokatsu Sasaki. Ever since I started growing out my hair, I've been getting a lot of attention from guys. Yikes. <laughs> okay, oh, well, I think that's enough of that. We did talk to you. Yeah, we talked to you. All right, next up we have, ah, the Earthbound Village, which I accidentally went into earlier. Masanori Hoshina. Hey, they promised to name the game Hoshino Trigger. Yeah, well, sorry, too bad. Pick up the tab. Uh, Tetsuya Nomura, three, two, one. Oh, uh oh, restart. Uh, not good. He, <laughs> just joking. Sweet. Takayuki Otachi, mission complete. And then we got the rider here, Koichi Ebe. Wow, you just jetted through this game, huh? Let me throw you a kiss. And then the running animal there, Akane Haruki. Feed me, they kept me locked up for so long. Okay, well, uh, yeah. That seems to be a running theme. I mean, the fact that they worked so long to get this game in play, I mean, goodness gracious. And then Chrono's Prison. Tetsuya Takahashi. If you thought this was tough, get a load of Final Fantasy 2, aka Final Fantasy 4, which, yeah, that's not too bad either. Hats Hasui! Shh! I'm in the middle of something good here! Uh. Okay, going to the toilet? Wow, that's great. Toshiaki Suzuki. Ah, I'm so tired! No, I'm hungry! No, I can't decide! Ah, they've made me into a zombie working on this game! Ah, oh, well, there goes you. Katsuhisa Higuchi. Legendary programmer seeks that special someone waiting for those cards and letters. Okay, well, we'll just, uh... Oh, wow, all right, we can, uh, kill them all. Huh. And kill Sir Crawley, I guess. I, uh, I had forgotten you could actually do some battling in here, although I don't see this taking terribly long. Oh, well, not terribly long at all, apparently. Okay, well, yeah, one last battle, I suppose. And, all right, yay, look at us. <laughs> all right, well, hey, get ourselves a last battle in there. Just two more zones, I think. And we have Geno Dome sitting here. At least I would assume it's Geno Dome. Shun Moria. I've been working on this ROM for 24 hours. Ah, someone save me, I'm getting sucked in. Ken Narita. Love was in the air, but then the boat sank. Ah. <sighs> Kazuo Suzuki. Hey, that's me, the merchant maker. All right, talk to you. Keisuke Matsuhara. Thank you, thank you. No applause necessary. Just send money. Uh, I don't really have much to send you, sorry. Another of my masterpieces will be available soon, so stay tuned. Okay. Haruyuki Nishida. Want to see a Chrono Trigger too? Yes! But we end up crawling at Chrono Cross and, well, it's been, you know, Legacy's definitely been divisive among fans, but yes. That'd be nice, huh? It actually is a pretty good game. It's just some of the directions that Chrono Cross takes with the plot. Kenichi Nishi. Boy, it was a long haul. I've gotten my first gray hairs because of this game. Wow, uh, glad it took you that long. I've been gray since I was probably about 14 or 15, so eh. All right, one last zone here. Whoa, no, 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 no. Back, 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 back. No, let me back, let me back, let me back. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. All right. All 
Alright, let's go in here. Alright. And we have Ayla's lair with the pterodactyl. Yusuke Naura. Well, are we having fun yet? Yeah, go, Dactyl, go! Talk to Ayla here. Makoto Shimamoto. Can you do it? The 999 damage point strike? As it turns out, this is real. If you get Ayla up beyond level 96, I believe, she gets the Bronze Fist, which, if it crits, will always do 9,999 damage. Every time. So, yeah, definitely, if you play that much, then some, certainly something to look forward to. Hiroshi Uchiyama. That's a pretty good costume you got on there, kid. Wait, it's really you, isn't it? Yeah, sure is. I think that's pretty much all we've got. Oh, we've got this guy. Sutoma Tarada. Hey, don't mess with the monsters I created. They kind of grow on you after a while, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, well, if you say so. All right, I think that pretty much wraps all that up. So, let's talk to Gaspar. <laughs> well then, open the gates to the Dream Team. All righty, the Dream Team. Yay! Ah, wow, look at all those uh, avatars. <laughs> Akira Toriyama. Hey, Sasuke, Kika. Pop's working on games like this. Hey, are you guys watching? Isn't this great? Alrighty, go Akira, or go Toriyama. And then Nobuo Uematsu, who apparently decided to be Norstein Backler. Heh, <laughs> nice backwards. I have nothing better to do than read this. Now run outside and play, boys and girls. Heh heh heh. Yuji Hori. One of these things is not like the others. A stapler, Mothra, and the Olympics. So, which is it? I have no idea. Kazuhiko Aoki. Guess what? I hit the 100,000 yen jackpot. Which in Japan is not very much money. Hironobu Sakaguchi, your director. Boy, it used to be that I'd get thinner after each game. Now I'm gaining weight instead. Ah! I must be getting old. Cheers! You made it to one of the endings. You're now a member of the Dream Team. And since you blew through the game so fast, we've adjusted the credits to suit your style. Oh, I love this part. Take a look at this. Eee! The credits going 90 miles an hour! And there you have it. Isn't that, that's a blast, I love that ending. It's probably the best ending in the game, at least you know, outside of the main story ending. Next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger, we are going to look into another of the endings, which we actually will get after you go through 600 AD for the first time, but you have to do it, and it's best to do it shortly after that point, because it does pretty intimately involve Frog. So, thank you guys for joining me, and I will see y'all later.